So if Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary is kind of like a national forest, the Sanctuary Exploration Center is the visitor center for that national forest, except we're a national marine sanctuary. And so this um, National Marine Sanctuary is really large. It goes all the way from just north of San Francisco Bay at the Marin Headlands, all the way down past Monterey Bay, past um, Big Sur, and down to Cambria. But a really large area of California that's protected um, essentially by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. Much of the ocean is empty space and water, but there are these biological hotspots around the planet and we are sitting on one of the hottest hotspots of all the temperate regions around the globe. We can even see humpback whales feeding right off the shores. We see the seabirds, we see the sea lions and the otters and dolphin. This is a dynamic, healthy, thriving, very biologically diverse hotspot and is very special. So right now we are in the kelp forest and this area is where we can explore life in the kelp forest. So we have a diver here looking around at the many, many species that you can find. And because kelp is so dense and so tall, because they are such great photosynthesizers, we have so many zones in the water column that are a habitat. So you can find crustaceans near the seafloor, sea stars. We have an otter up here. The prey like to hide within the kelp, but the predators are very smart and they know the hiding spots, and so this is also their hunting ground. It's a really important visual representation to show people who may not get the chance to dive. So we hope to be a place where people, both from within the Monterey Bay community, as well as nationwide and even international visitors, can come, learn a little bit about what makes this a really special place and why it's worth protecting. Why do you think it's so important to have educational centers like this teaching about sanctuaries? How else are people gonna realize and understand the dangers of plastics and, and the dangers to sea life that, that we humans, you know, don't even think about? I feel it's important to get the new generation involved in, you know, conservation efforts. I need to step it up quite a bit and all the technology integrated in the exhibits are is wonderful. It kind of gets their attention better, and I liked it a lot. And why do you think it's important to have centers like this to teach people about the sanctuary? Because it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. I passed by here, and someone was coming out of the building. They hadn't even opened yet. I said oh, are you gonna take volunteers? And they said, oh yes. My favorite animal is the leatherback turtle. Never seen it. But since I've worked here, I've met about five different people who have actually seen one. And so it's just, it's just those connections with something bigger than myself that I really enjoy. It's just this excellent synthesis of values that I believe in, protecting the ocean, but also being able to get out there and just be in my community. So where are you guys from? Santa Cruz. And have you been here before? Yes. All right, well, what made you come back today? Um, well, because I had a field trip here during Junior Lifeguards. The foundation is the nonprofit partner of the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. So we're a nonprofit that is organized locally to help advocate for, educate, outreach, do community engagement events, and raise funds to help supplement some of the federal funding shortfalls that the sanctuary faces. So because of us, we are able to help do things like fund a full-time bilingual educator who's going to be here in the Sanctuary Exploration Center that's going to help us tremendously increase our outreach into schools all over the county and inland, which is one of our goals. We have this very, very unique biological feature. It's called the Monterey Canyon. It's more than two miles deep. It's deeper than the Grand Canyon. So really, so few people realize we have something as special and as unique as Yosemite, the Grand Canyon, right here in our front yard but you can't see it because it's underwater. Here, the, the 
greatest appeal is actually under the surface and all the processes that go on to um, support the things that we see. We can see the sea lions out here and uh, sometimes you can see whales, but what's going on underneath? And so much of the marine sanctuary is uh, those things that aren't readily apparent to your eyes. And I think, I think the, the center here does a great job of revealing things like that. It really helps to explain what is the sanctuary, what's it for, and what's going on out there. Over the back. Yeah. So this looks like maybe a four to five meter whale. Yeah. This it is, is still crazy. soft tissue. Yeah. There's a, there is. Yeah. Definitely was something. It's a unique type of education. It's an interactive education. It's something they can do at their own pace. And it also uses a variety of mediums. I really enjoyed the theater and um, seeing like the uh, films that you guys had in there. I watched all the shows for quite a while and then the soundboard was really awesome. I liked the sea turtle game where it showed um, like the sea turtle going to shore to lay their eggs and stuff, that was fun. We had a nice volunteer talk to us about the calamari and how yeah. they're caught, and that was very interesting. Yeah. I liked the where you could see the fur. Did you have a favorite exhibit that you saw today? I really liked the underwater robot coming from a person who's going to be majoring in computer science at UCSC. It really sparked my interest, and it was really cool to watch the other kids interact with it. The exhibits also include English and Spanish subtitles so that we can have people not only see the exhibits and interact with them, but read in both English and Spanish an explanation that tells them a little bit more about what they're experiencing. To visit the Monterey Bay Sanctuary Exploration Center, it's 100% free of cost. Um, so we love to offer anyone accessibility to come and learn about the ocean. Um, and our gift store is where we get a lot of our funding um, for our projects. So we offer some great range of clothing. We have some custom prints that feature artists who have made designs out of um, the animals here in the Monterey Bay. Mola Mola, jellyfish, whales, um, the leatherback turtle. We have a range of books from coloring books to books for very young kids with little finger puppets in them. Um, to toddlers, to teens, and we have plenty of field guides also. All of our books are about the ocean. There's a learning opportunity in all of them. Come and learn with us. Plankton discovery is a topic that we can also teach to kindergarten through 12th grade. And we can collect a physical sample of ocean water. We go out into the wharf and we collect it and it gets concentrated into very plankton-y water. And then we can take it under the microscope. We bring it back into the classroom and we can examine it and see the little planktons moving around in there and identify what kind of plankton is in there, how much is in there, uh, and how does that affect the health of the ocean. We get really interesting shapes, and they're very alien to most students because the plants and animals that we usually see with the naked eye are familiar. We learn about cows or turtles or fish, but then we see these little alien microorganisms from a student's point of view, when you're just learning and you can't go take a whole diving trip, collecting samples of plankton is one way that you can be a marine biologist for a day and learn about the health of the ocean. Is there any reason why you guys think exploration centers and education centers like this are important? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think it's relevant for uh, people of all ages, especially the younger generation, to learn about why it's important to take care of our oceans and our wildlife um, and just the environment in general. Why do you think it's so important to have centers like this that teach people about the ocean? Um, so maybe they can help protect the ocean. Do you think it's important to protect the fish and the wildlife that are out in the ocean? Yes! yes. 
I would say not only is this area vitally important for the climate and for our natural environment, but I would say it's also vitally important for public health and emotional mental health benefits for humans. There's an undeniable feeling we all get when we're out looking at a beautiful ocean scape and watching the sunset over the ocean. Um, it provides calm and serenity and peace of mind. This is the People's Marine Sanctuary. We hope that they're inspired to think that something about the sanctuary is cool themselves, whether it be our deep sea canyon or the leatherback sea turtles that migrate here or, or all the different whales and dolphin species that we have. Them to find something that they think is neat and then find a reason that they want to help protect this sanctuary when they leave this building.